There's still too many flags in games, specifically pass interference. Yeah, it's not overreaction. It's not overreaction. My, my son all the time is like, another flag? And he's eight. You want to talk about the men and the women in a bar, what what's something's supposed to look like and yep. it's supposed to be? The thing that's really crazy is what is pass interference and what isn't it? It's like we're getting we're getting close to the catch, not a catch stuff with pass interference now because it's reviewable. It's driving me a little crazy. It's driving me a lot crazy. Not an overreaction, man. TMH, is Hockley doing the game tonight? Because I haven't seen him anywhere else. Uh, no, Sean did a game yesterday. Okay, very good. Yeah, I didn't see everything yesterday because I was – in the Coliseum. What else, sir? Uh, the Rams haven't been the same since last year's Super Bowl. Um, Defense gave up 55 yesterday. I know, but they're still 3-1. and one. I'm not going to... Golf, ha- golf hasn't looked good you, either. But you could also say, Chris, that they haven't been the same since that Week 12 Monday night game on tilt against the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. Because Gurley was hurt. The You know, it's funny. We were doing the rehearsal yesterday. Again, me, Mooch, Kurt, and Irv in the booth. It was 21 to nothing. Yeah, right out of the gate. And we started off the Rams drive 21 nothing by saying, hey, where's Todd Gurley been the last few weeks? What, ha- what has happened with Todd Gurley? Which, you know, we've discussed here on we've, the show. Uh, I, as length, a broadcaster, mocking, you know, what I would do as a play-by-play guy, brought that out down 21 nothing that they've hardly run the ball and maybe they're not going to run it. And we were discussing that. That was the drive that ended with Gurley running it in from the 13-yard yeah. line aisle. And then we're like, okay, that's the Todd Gurley we've seen. So Gurley actually had an excellent game yesterday, or better than he has had in a while. We even mentioned it on the show. He's been absent in the passing game this year and had 11 targets yesterday. I'm going to label this an overreaction. Can't wait for Thursday night and three days from now, Seattle hosting the Rams. That's a big week five kickoff, Chris. I'm going to say that's an overreaction for the moment here. All right, let's move on. Bucks Giants. They can make the playoffs. <sighs> That's an overreaction. I mean, you got a rookie quarterback, Daniel Jones. They, there's belief. Know. There's belief. There's belief. Next two games are Minnesota at home and then at New England short week. Talk to me in two weeks. And the defense also, uh, you know, I know what they did yesterday, but the Washington, as we all know, is once again an offensive dumpster fire. Didn't have McLaurin yesterday. They right. threw Dwayne Haskins in the middle of a game. That's not the way to do it. You don't put the kid in in the middle of a game. You get him ready and throw him out there. But we all know what jo- what Joel Klatt had to say last week. I'm going to put a pin in this because Washington's not – I don't want to go down a, a redskin wormhole. <laughs> so yeah. the Giants I need to see. The Bucks I saw personally yesterday – and maybe we're beginning to see the the seed that Arians has planted with Winston, and it's coming to fruition because he was on rhythm, and he made that Rams defense porous. That was impressive. But I'm going to say that's an overreaction right now still. What else, sir? All right, yeah, speaking of the Vikings, Kirk Cousins, not the answer in Minnesota. Uh, how is that anything but a proper reaction right now? Okay, we're 20 games in now. Where's the Kirk Cousins that we're supposed to see take this team on his back and win a football game like yesterday? Where's the Kirk Cousins supposed to put his team on his uh, on his back and win a game like week two? Uh, I mean, seriously. Nice guy, very talented guy. He's got a defense that's just as good as anybody else's. I mean, you could put Minnesota's up against anybody's. It's time. It's twenty games now. It's twenty games. I, 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 that is a proper reaction. He is not the answer in Minnesota. Problem is, is that it's all guaranteed. One more year. That's what happens here. Uh, you, they were all in on Kirk Cousins, and right now uh, Cousins is not performing at all in a manner that's got Minnesota going to the Super Bowl. Case Keenum did a much better job. Yeah. Case Keenum had them on the doorstep of the Super Bowl. Had them in an NFC Championship game, and I know the Saints fans are screaming, but yeah, I got it. Keenum was much better than Cousins is. And that's not an overreaction. That's spitting truth. Last one. Yes. Last one from the college ranks. We got 14 unbeaten teams in the top 25 right now. This is the year that finally pushes the college football to expand the playoffs. It's not an overreaction. It's never going to happen. 
The NCAA has got their heads in the sand when it comes to what fans want, and the NCAA has definitely got their heads in the sand with what's going on with the image, likeness, and name. One would say what's in the ether on allowing players to make money off of all that, and we'll get to that later on in the show. I, st- I said it when we had who, uh, Feldman here last week. Take a look right now. Ohio State, they're going to be on the outside looking in because the SEC just lo- lo- needs, you know, wants it more or it means more to them. Because LSU and Georgia, yeah. right? Right. Uh, Oklahoma's, Oklahoma's number six right now, and you can make an argument they're the best team in the you country. You can make an argument they've got the Heisman Trophy winner on their team with what Jalen Hurts looks like. Auburn's undefeated. Wisconsin beat the tar out of my team. They're going to pick on just because Wisconsin loses to Ohio State or Ohio State gets knocked off by Wisconsin, Ohio State shouldn't go as a one loss winner of the Big Ten? Come on. We want to see eight. How many times have I been pounding the table for this? This year absolutely is shaping up as a year that's going to prove it. Florida's 5-0. and oh. So there's that. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app. 